So 2K dropped this insane all-star weekend set with all these Galaxy Opals and a 100 overall Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And that set has dropped now, but fun fact, at the time of recording this video, it hasn't dropped. Because in preparation of that set, I have to sell all my players. You can see right now, I've got 4.5 million MT, and I've also got pretty much every player in the game, but today's the day we're selling them all, including this holo Tracy McGrady. So you may be looking at my team right now and wondering where are all your players? Players. Now that's a good question. If we come over to my grading, I actually have two boxes and these are filled with pink diamonds fully in this one and then diamonds all in this one. I think there's some amethyst and stuff too. But yes, the first grading box costed me 121,000 MT to grade them all. And then the next one costed 50K. But the reason we want to grade these cards is because then it gives us a multiplier on how much they quick sell for. For example, this holographic Tracy McGrady only sells for about 200,000 MT without a grade. But because I graded him, he sells for 453,000 MT. And this is going to be a card we sell in this video. And you can see there's a bunch of other cards here that we are going to sell as well. So looking at my MT right now, I want you guys to go in the comment section down below, make sure not to cheat and guess how much MT you think I'm going to make by the end of this video. If I had to guess, what should I say? I'm going to say like 2 million, which is certainly a lot. But anyway, I think it's now time that we actually get some of our players back. I don't know which one had all the pink diamonds in it. I'm just going to go this one right here and we're hoping to get some good grades. So this one was the one with the pink diamonds. Like this is insane. Literally nine out of the 10 cards right here are pink diamonds. The only diamond in this box is Paolo Bancaro. Right here, we get a nine. And this adds a lot of MT towards our cards. Kevin Durant, 9.25. We will absolutely take that. Anything above a nine, I'm super happy with. An eight, not great. We're probably gonna have to regrade that card. An eight once again for Vince Carter. Not good at all. 9.75 for Oscar Robertson. That is absolutely insane. Let's keep that up with an eight for Chris Stapps. Okay, I see it. Fine. Draymond Green, 101,000 MT for this card. Now we get a 9.25. So he's going to go for about 200,000. Michael Beasley this time. Can we get something good? 9.25 as well. This box is absolutely insane. We haven't even seen a seven yet. The only thing we've seen is an eight. That's the lowest. And Ye gives us a nine. Look at this box. We haven't got a 10, but a 9.75 is so good on Oscar Robertson. And so many others have a great grade. Like, look at this Oscar. Without the grade, he would sell for 101,000 MT. I'm pretty sure. But with the grade, he sells for 193,000. We just made an extra 90K from just grading this car. And same thing for like Draymond. That's an extra 40K. Kevin Durant, an extra 40K as well. So just look at how much MT is sitting here with all these graded cards. It's crazy. I guess now it's time to open up this other box. And this one is filled with amethyst and also diamonds. I do have an amethyst that's a hollow as well coming up. So this is OJ Mayo, a diamond, an eight. Okay, not the best. Andrew Good. I think this is our hollow, is it? That's a nine. That's not bad at all. I wouldn't mind getting a higher grade on him. Wang Chi Chi, what are you going to give me? A 9.5. Extremely good. Let's go. Al Harrington, don't really care for the Amethyst, a seven. That's our first seven we've got so far. Again, I don't care about the Amethyst, though. Another seven. All right, well, when we get to these diamonds, Richard Jefferson is a diamond. Please be higher and a seven. All right, we're really on this seven grind right now. Not happy with that. 9.5 for Anton Jamison. Let's go, though. Jonathan Isaac, please be a high one. Eight, definitely going to regrade. Serge Ibaka for the final card is a 9.5. Let's go. I'd say that's extremely good. We got a lot of high grades and I'm pretty happy with it. If I actually search my cards and I go graded, yes, then this is going to be pretty much all the cards right here that we're going to sell in this video. So that might give you a bit more of a little insight on how much MT we're going to make, but I'm selling like every single one of these cards. It might even be over two mil. I'm not sure. But there are still a few cards in here that I'm not too happy with their grades. So you know what? It's time to create a new order with 10 cards. We're going to do Stefan Marbury because he only got an eight last time. Who else? Vince Carter. Chris Stapps Porzingis. I think I'm happy with a nine. Like I'm going to leave Ye with his nine rating. We're also going to do Paul George. And now fortunately, we're actually down to the diamonds. So we didn't have too many pink diamonds that we didn't like. And which pink diamonds even are they? I've got so many diamonds on this account. It is insane. OJ Mayo, definitely one of them. I guess we need to do Jonathan Isaac and also Richard Jefferson. So let's do RJ just like this. Put him in. And that's actually it for diamonds. We're just chucking in our Amazon with the standard off. And I think I am going to put our holo card in. Even though it's a nine, I still feel like this is a pretty good box to put back in. It's going to be expensive. How much does it cost? Let's have a look. 78,000 MT. We got to spend MT to make MT. Let's put it in and let's grade this box. So now that's got an hour and a half to go. But in good news while we're here, I actually have a lot of unopened packs and I've been saving these packs for no reason. Like I've literally got a season two super pack box. Don't ask me why I have this. We're going to open it up. I've been holding onto it for some weird reason from the last season. 
open. So it's not super exciting because we're probably going to get cards just like that gold. But if I open this up actually in season three when it was relevant, it might have been exciting. But we're almost at the end of season four and we're opening this up. If we're able to see a diamond or something, it'll be hype. One shake. That's really all we're looking for. I guess the good thing is, is I'm pretty sure I can sell these cards. So at least the sapphires and so on will go for something. And it might make us a little bit of MT back from what we lost just grading all our cards. But you can see why grading them can be so good. If you're able to get a high grade, like a 9.75, which we got on Oscar Robertson, it can be so exciting. What we're looking for though is a 10. That's unfortunately not actually a diamond. It's a diamond shoe. I really shouldn't have held onto this box. Like why did I? We're literally getting nothing at all. Like not even an amethyst. Okay, well we do get a shake this time. Bam, it is an amethyst. I feel like we're probably gonna already have this amethyst. I don't know who it's gonna be. A power forward. Um, is this Rashad Lewis? Actually, this is from the Swagger set, I'm pretty sure. And I don't have this card, so we'll take it. Definitely just gonna be another card that I sell. But now for the final pack of this box. I know this is a bit random to add into this video, but hey, you guys got it. Now I guess we can quick sell all this for only 3K. Nice. Nice. Let's actually do these exciting ones, like the Electric Deluxe Pack. You never know, we could get a pink diamond out of this. I've also got Glitch Packs, Lunar New Year Deluxe Packs, and everything like that. So this pack up, just an amethyst. Not what we want. I can swap them though and make 8K, so we'll take that. Tis the Season Present Deluxe Pack. I might save a few of these for the next part in the video. Nothing in this one, just an emerald. That sucks. Now we did the Season 2 Super Packs. This is time for the Season 3 Super Pack. Anything good? Good. No shake at all. Just a, oh, that's not great. And now let's just do a glitched pack. We did see that we got Draymond before in that grading service. So no shake in this one. Yeah, that's not good. Just a goal. And now let's do one Lunar New Year Deluxe pack. I know this is weird, but we have to wait an hour and a half anyway. And we get an Amethyst Smack Bang in the middle. Not what we want. I guess I'll add him to the exchange for another pack. Let's do that. But yeah, we still have an hour and 25 minutes until we can open up this next box. And potentially once we do that, I'm going to sell everything on this account. And Man, I'm excited for that. So anyway, I'll see you guys very soon. So we're now back after an hour and a half. And you can see here, our card grading has finished. So we've got our one box, our 10 cards. I forgot how many pink diamonds there were. There were quite a few. Paul George, Vince Carter. Yeah, there were the pink diamonds. And then we've got these amethysts at the back. So let's start at the back, getting a seven on Carl Anderson. OJ Mayo, seven. No, this box is not starting well. This was our, yeah, hollow card that went down one grade. Not what we want. This is... Okay, that's better. That's a pink diamond right there with a 9.25. That makes me feel better. 9.25 now. We're moving on to the better cards. Chris Stapps, make it a 9.5. It's a 9. I'm happy with a 9 on Chris Stapps. RJ, please be good. 7. That sucks. And now for the final few cards. Jonathan Isaac, a 7. That's again very bad. Vince Carter, please be good. A 9. I'll take it. And now for the final card being Paul George. Let's see what it is. It's a seven. That wasn't great. Like what? We got a couple of nines, but the best one we got was 9.25 on Stefan Marbury. I feel like I have to put these cards in again. So I guess that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to put in Jonathan Isaac. We're also going to put in this diamond run our test and you guys will see why. Then I guess now let's put in that Rashad Lewis that we pulled. I guess Amethyst, Anderson, Verizhia. We've got two more cards to go. And this right here is all the players that we're going to put in once again. I really want all these diamonds, especially pink diamond Paul George to be high. Also this hollow card run our test. It's going to cost us another 50 50,000 MT, but I guess we got to do it to make some MT. Let's do it. And now again, I got to wait another hour and a half. So I guess, you know what? I'll see you guys in that time. And we're now back for the final time. Our final 10 cards that we've graded. We can't regrade these cards anymore after this. So we've got our one diamond that we put in. Please be higher. That's a nine. I'm happy with Ron Artes getting nine. Brandon Jennings, who's just an amethyst, hits us with the seven. That's what we put him in as. I'm waiting for Paul George. Paul George is our one amethyst and I'm hoping that get, no, one pink diamond, sorry. I'm hoping that gets higher. Why is Jonathan Isaac so hard? Why can I not get anything good on Jonathan Isaac? Richard Jefferson as well. We have struggled to get good grades on those two cards. Smush, kiss, kiss, gets us a 9.25. This is the hollow, an eight, not great. Carl Anderson, just another amethyst. I don't know. I was about to say, I don't really care. We get a 10 on Carl Anderson. Like, are you kidding me? The one Amethyst I didn't care about, we get a 10. Anyway, maybe that's a good sign for then this Amethyst to be a 10, it's a nine. But maybe it's time for Paul George to be a 10. Come on, Paul George, be a 10. Oh my word. 
whatever we can't regrade him anymore that's it done meaning now if we come over to our graded cards you can see every single one of these cards right here are players that we're going to be selling which is absolutely insane like man i am intrigued to see how much mt this is going to be the question is do i just start doing it now i guess it's time you guys have been waiting remember to guess the amount of mt you think i'll make by the end of this as it's time now to just go through and quick sell every single card so luca only for ninety four thousand mt that's actually a lot less than what i thought he was going to sell for but julius irving 144,000 because we got a 9.5 grade on him. Kevin Durant for 141,000. Let's quick sell him. I am sad to sell that card, but we need to because of the all-star one that's dropping very soon. Oscar Robertson, 9.75, a crazy grade. Then also Vince Carter, Draymond Green as well, 141,000 MT. We are already making so much. 100K for Ja Morant, we will take that. Then also Chris Bosh, 144,000 MT. Not to mention now, Chris Dabbs pausing is one of my favorite cards, 126K, it might even be a card I buy back. He's actually that good. Then we've also got, yay, Michael Beasley. Do I quick sell this card? Maybe I don't, I don't know. I I know I've got a good grade on this card and it could quick sell for 147,000 MT. But the issue is if I want this card back, there's no way for me to buy it. So I think I'm going to skip on that card. I think we'll think about it and see what we do. But you can see here, it's disappointing with Paul George because he could have sold for a lot more if we got more than a seven grade. Unfortunately, a seven is all we got, but his all-star version is coming out. So that's it for the pink diamonds, but the two most exciting ones. Now it's time for the diamonds and we've got Polo Bancaro. 70K for a diamond is absolutely insane. A lot so morning for 40k like that's how good that other one was 56,000 with a 9.5 grade this is why we wanted all these grades unfortunately OJ Mayo I can't be bothered to regrade him let's just sell him for 44k also Anton Jamison for 44 and then this is Saar Thompson sells for 56,000 with a 9.5 but his brother Amen Thompson sells for 75,000 with a 9 grade we will take that and not to mention we then have Tyler Hero for 56,000 MT like do you guys see my MT just skyrocketing right now it is absolutely insane insane how much MT I'm on and it's just not stopping right now like we are getting so much MT this is why I wanted to make a video on this just because I told you I am selling absolutely everything and I seriously meant it we are selling my entire team. That's it for most of the diamonds now. Now we got to do this amethyst. So Rashad Lewis, we got you for free. We'll quick sell you. Here we go with Carl Anderson, a 10 grade on him for 23,000 MT. I'll take it, I guess. Then also just the rest of these amethysts, like 10,000 MT. I'll take what I can get. Like I may as well take this 11,000 MT, this 15,000 MT for Jarris Walker. And then we have these two holo cards, which are amethysts. So Andrew Guglock sells for 36,000 MT, which is definitely not too bad. Then also our boy Jonathan Kaminga with an eight grade sells for 36,000 and I guess Brandon Jennings for 8k whatever then we can't yeah we can do this card I keep on forgetting which cards are actually auctionable Smush Parker for 11,000 man oh man I'm really selling everything like this is crazy how much MT I'm going to be on this is a card I'm not going to sell I like him too much but I think that's now it like I can't sell these cards these are just random ones I accidentally graded now it's time to come over to my unopened packs and we're going to open up this tis the season option pack and the reason we're opening up this one is because we're able to select one tis the season player and this was from the season rewards and we're going to instantly select run our test actually it was two cards i did not realize that did not realize it was two okay well i'm just not the smartest on that front let's just go tatum as well let's go I'll run our test and tatum and i could quick sell these guys for 2000 mt but no we're going to replace run our test for this one right here and make 44,000. then tatum as well for this one right here oh what i have two I'm really not smart. The one card I selected was non-auctionable. And guess, I guess let's just make him into a pack instead. And now before we do our biggest players and quick sell those, let's open up some of these packs. We've got three new Lunar New Year Deluxe packs and you never know, we could see something absolutely crazy from this. So we do get a shake, bam. It's only an amethyst. We don't really care for this. Well, maybe we do because it's not a bad player. It's a player that we got a 10 grade on being Carl Anderson. What about the next pack up? The thing is now that we've quick sold all these players, they should all shake. And this one is another amethyst. Again, we don't really care. This one is Al Harrington. All right. And for our final Lunar New Year Deluxe pack, this is like 60,000 MT worth of packs. And we do get a shake in every single one. The final one is only an amethyst. All right, it really doesn't matter. As once again, it's just big old Al. But you know what? That's fine because now that we've sold everything we're almost at 7 million mt but i still have one more player to quick sell and that is my holographic pink diamond tracy mcgrady i can't believe this but for 453 000 mt it is time to say goodbye and it's time to quick sell this card right here so tracy mcgrady i'm sorry to say it we're gonna sell you my best pull of the year so far let's say goodbye to holographic t mac and just like that we made 
450,000 MT. Leaving us now on 7.4 million MT. Like what in the world? We literally made 3 million MT from this. 3 million MT, are you kidding me? Like we were at 4.4 mil, now we're at 7.4 mil. So if you guessed 3 million MT, well done. I can't believe that's how much MT I'm actually sitting on. So we're looking good for the All-Star Weekend content. And this would actually be my team. To be honest, it's not that bad of a team, given that I've also got 7.4 million MT. Like I'm pretty happy with that. But this is absolutely gonna change. With the All-Star Weekend content coming out, I want that 100 overall Kareem. And that's why I've got that 7.4 million MT. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I know the content's already dropped, but yeah, yeah, hopefully I've got him already. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button and let me know if you got it right down below. I appreciate you all watching. This was a lot and a lot of saving up, but I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much all I got to say. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.